guys hope you're doing great so uh, today i have the nikon aculon a211 10 by 50 binocular and the reason why i got this is because um, comet neowise is up in the sky and um, i live in central jersey so it's very faint right now you can see it with the naked eye and um, i do have a nice telescope by celestron it's an um, 8 inch with uh, cassegrain but again, it has a very um, narrow view of the sky and I don't know where to point it. So best bet is to go with the uh, binoculars. And um, I did some research on this. And the reason why I went with this one is because um, I went to space.com and they had a nice comparison um, of different binoculars. And if you look at um, this one right here, okay. So what they recommended was... Um, a 7 by 50 and uh, I did not find this in the stores and I did not want to you know wait for uh, online shipping so the next uh, closest one was the 10 by 50 one okay and they also and uh, if you look at uh, Nikon they also have a, a 10 to 22 by 50 which is a zoom binocular I don't know how good that one is but uh, what happens is, you know, as you go higher up, the binoculars start getting larger and larger. So, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult to carry around. So better to go with something like 7 by 50 or 10 by 50. Anyways, so, okay, I have this one over here. And I got this from Dick's uh, Sporting Goods for uh, 120 bucks. And they had a, a discount going on, so uh, there's a $20 coupon, so the final price was like 100 bucks. So if you if you look at this, uh, so it's a 10 by 50, so um, what does 10 stand for? So 10 is the uh, magnification factor, so 10 times closer. And the uh, 50, the 50 stands for the diameter of the uh, lens, okay. Uh, what else so it says smooth focus uh, it's got good um, eye cups uh, so if you have glasses I think it helps over there uh, a spherical eyepiece okay sharp uh, views over there and uh, rubber armored uh, grip okay so uh, one thing about this binocular is um, it doesn't it, it's not waterproof Okay, so if you're looking for a waterproof one, you might want to probably invest in something else. But this one is uh, probably good for uh, stargazing. And I'm not going to take it out in the rain. So I think this is perfect for me. But uh, if you would go out, you know, in places where it's going to rain, then you would want to look at the waterproof version. All right, so let's take this out of the box. So if you look at the box, this is sealed very tightly. I'll definitely need uh, a nice blade to get this out. Uh, hold on. Right. I think I'm going to break my table over here. <laughs> so yeah, this is the nice diagram detailing you know the different components so I'm going to keep that with me okay. this is the uh, actual box So it's got this nice case over here. Okay, uh, a strap okay. and uh, the instructions. Right. Okay. 
So it's nice, uh, nice and compact. It's not as uh, big as I, big as I thought it would be, and um, it's not that heavy as well. It's got this nice uh, rubber coating. Okay. Okay. And then this is the lens part. Alright, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with it and see how well it works. And I'll let you know. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.